My friend Arturo's coming over. He does industrial designing for Jacob. He was supposed to come at 12. This is the time. This was Jacob at 12. Look, 12.07. Arturo, it's 1 p.m. What happened? I had that interview. Do you mind if I film some clips? I mean, if you want to. <laughs> Do you want to work on the couch then? We just finished. Arturo, how would you say it went? Mm, pretty good. Jacob did nothing. Since this is a hot video, I'm gonna wear a beanie. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Let's go to the office. There's one thing we all really love about vintage that you'll really never find the same thing twice. This just looks bad. Fernando decided to give away a hundred dollar store credit. You decided. All you gotta do is comment your favorite thing about vintage on the Unsound Rags profile. Comment why you love vintage. <laughs> <laughs> He's the biggest flexor. Reaction to these pants. Hello? Who's this? Jeezy. Keep the fit. You like Kanye West? Shout out Levi Bentley. This video is about the best hats. The first three are from Rick Owens. This is from SS21. It is a wool beanie. This one is from Fall Winter 12. It is also a wool beanie with ribbing at the bottom. And this one is from Fall Winter 8. Each of these beanies are made of a similar wool blend, but are knitted differently. Everybody's head is different, and it's definitely gonna take a few tries to get the right looking beanie. He also makes a lot of beanies out of cashmere, but in my opinion, it's a little bit too warm, and I like the wool better. The only brimmed hat I wear is this Jacob hat. This is it in the rib stop nylon version. This is a five panel and I think it just suits me the best. The next hat is from Helmet Lang. This is a new helmet beanie. Found this for super cheap and I'm actually very impressed with it. It has a good fit. I think it has a beautiful color to it. I'll go through the rest of the hats at the end of the video. Let's continue. Most important thing, gas station beanies. Two bucks each, get you through the uh, the LA winters. One of the first dime hats when they first started. It's like a wool hat, so it's super heavy. I want it to look like Bobby DeKaiser when I wear this. Gore-Tex logo hat. Got this Supreme IBCA hat. This one, it's a long brim Oakley hat. New Fugazi beanie that has like the, the Farsi letters. I wear hats basically every single day. My face is protected, my head is looking covered. I was looking at the liner from the helmet jacket and I noticed it had this cotton pocket on the inside. So right now I'm gonna take it to a tailor, have them put this pocket on the outside, take in the hem a little bit and add this rope. Now, Luke. Yep, now, now put it back on my thing. <laughs> Hi. Perfect. I just got back from the tailor. We got the pocket on the chest. Still got the Velcro. And it has these drawstrings at the bottom so you can tighten it and it's just looks more completed, less like a liner. If you made it this far in the video, I salute you. Let's go through the rest of the hats. First one up is from Snow Peak. This is a padded nylon beanie. Really interesting concept. Pretty good execution, but it just does not fit good. Doesn't fit good on me. Doesn't really fit good on most people I've had try it on. So not really the best hat, but it is a cool hat. Next up, we have a woven logo beanie from Balenciaga. This is wool, really good quality, really good fit as well. If it didn't say Balenci, I would probably wear it, but as is, 
probably gonna sell it. The next hat is a vintage hat on Grail. It's kind of like the Helmet Lang hat. It's a distressed big loop wool beanie. Good quality, kind of a larger beanie though. Really makes your head huge, but really nice nonetheless. This beanie right here is from a retailer called Macus. They're like $20 beanies, and whatever blank they're using is really crispy, high quality. It's kind of like your standard Home Alone beanie. They do wear out after a while, but I've had a few of these and they're so cheap, and uh, I need to get a black on black one. The creme de la creme, the gas station acrylic beanie. Take yourself down to the gas station and see if they have beanies. They're not bad. Like I mentioned, everyone's head is different. Every different hats look good on different people. I can't really wear like trucker hats or, you know, snapbacks, but some people really can. So personal preference. Nana got this new uh, tea in here. Hey, chest day. Yeah. How much is this gonna cost me? 440. It's a nice, it's real nice. Thanks. I'll give you my helmet puffer for this. I ended up taking this Margiela long sleeve. In return, I'm gonna be trading in this cotton helmet jacket and this goose down nylon helmet puffer. It's probably gonna try and lowball me, but these two items should give me a good amount of store credit. Fernando's appraising my trade. Um, what was up with the cuff, boy? Value just went down. How much can you do on the helmet? You gotta have some mid. I got lots of it. No, but I have like an, I don't know. I don't want a mid puffer. Oh, that sucks. Trevor got this package in. What do you think this is? Could not tell you. Whoa. Reaction to that lady almost getting hit. Concern. I've been wanting them and I can just imagine wearing these with pants. Oh. Look, they're like some John Elliott type beat. <laughs> Monsanto hat. So what made you buy that one? I love this company and everything they stand for and I want to support them. Have you hugged your electrician today? I did not buy this. I would never buy a hat in such poor Hey bro, it's an easy fix. This is a legendary hat. It's camel camo. I got another smoking hat. It's very tall. Trevor's a big stone. The double brim. The sun is blocked, I can say. It's kind of a bucket hat. We have Fernando's personal hat that he made. Yeah, Trevor was <laughs> right. Oh. Shout out to Trevor Gorgi. Came through with the collection. Next we have this like vintage Stussy, it's like a knitted hat with a mesh back. I need to like stretch it out more. Next you got your real tree hats. Shit. Um, praying one. And then this one is a Gore-Tex one. Gotta have the Scottish Huff hat, RIP Keith. I hate unsound rags. Got this Iran hat. First Union Bank vintage hat. I just thought it was funny that says that's cap. Bronze hat I've already shown. Have this vintage The Great Escape overdyed hat that Nathan overdyed. It used to be like a brighter red corduroy and now it's darker. On San Fugazi, get the brim. It's extra long so it covers the sun. Kind of nice and like the long brim, something different. And then lastly, I have this Fugazi sample hat. It's basically like a spiral seam hat. I wear hats basically every single day. So it may seem like I have a lot, but they're all pretty cooked. And that's because they get a lot of use. So this is probably like a quarter of now, the hats that I have. I would just say, smash that like button. No. <laughs>